हेलो व्यूअर्स हाउ आर यू होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेल टुडे इज डब्ल्यू पी एस सीरीज सेवेंथ वीडियो पार्ट सेवन वी आर ऑलमोस्ट एट एन एंड बट आफ्टर दिस वीडियो ऑल्सो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग सम टेस्ट एंड सम प्रोसेस विच आर रिलेटेड टू दिस डब्ल्यू पी एस अप्रूवल एंड विद दिस सेम सब्जेक्ट वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू प्रिपेयर ए डब्ल्यू पी एस as per AWS D1.1 structural which are pre-qualified as well as with some unlisted material which require a qualified PQR also. Also, we have learnt a common WPS which can be used for piping and pipeline. Now, WPS prepared with all of the attachments, we are now confused how to submit it. If we don't know how to submit it in the client or company, what are the mandatory attachments to which department it should route through then it will be very difficult to get it approved from the client or company the queries are here when the wps will be ready for submission what are the mandatory attachments for the wps who will review the wps from the contractor who will review the wps on behalf of company what is the specific approval need for a wps before we implement it on site so the first question is when the wps will be ready for submission how to make a wps ready let us refresh our mind again first we need to prepare a pre wps generally company welding engineer is doing it with the help and feedback of construction and quality assurance manager or quality control manager after preparing the pre wps the contractor need to arrange the procedure qualification test test will be witnessed by the company approved third party welding inspector he will measure all the practical data and all this after the procedure qualification test has been completed at the site the third party inspector has to take it to its facility for the destructive and non destructive testing non destructive testing which is generally radiographic test ultrasonic test or the penetrant test if it pass through the non destructive testing then only we will be proceeding for destructive testing like bend test tensile test macro etching hardness impact a lot of test which we have already discussed earlier parts of our videos now pqr is received from the third party it has to be reviewed both by the third party inspector as well as the contractor um, quality control department the contractor quality department he has to review that the pqr came with all necessary test reports and results along with all the material test certificates everything then the welding engineer again start to finalize the wps then the pwps will be rectified specially in the welding parameter section taking the actual data from pqr because it is already proven data then he will apply some act tolerances let's say for voltage we can apply plus minus 10% from the pqr provided value we can apply the current plus minus 10% from the pqr adopted value this way he has to finalize the wps attach pqr along with all the test report another mandatory requirement comes here is weld and line designation table weld and line designation table is at a glance look of the line classes covered by this wps thickness range current base material range then we need to prepare the official transmittal send it to the document controller document controller will forward it to project management document controller to submit it to consulting service department who is responsible for review and approval of the wps in case csd finds not a serious issue he can approve the wps without any comment or some minor comment if there is any major comment then contractor has to revert back and try to justify the comment or if there is any action let's say the pqr is rejected for some reason or the range is not covered by the pqr additional pqr need to be run and attach and resubmit with the comment response to csd by hook or crook the wps has to be approved by the csd for the first time then only contractor can resubmit it to the project inspection or pid for their final review and approval for the specific project 
So PID is giving the project specific approval, whereas the CSD is approving any WPS for all of the contractors working for the company for all of their projects. CSD is approving the WPS irrespective of any projects, whereas PID approves the WPS only for the specific project contractor submitted the WPS for. Let us refresh the total attachments of a WPS while submission. The first will be the transmittal, then contractor response or justification sheet in case it is submitted uh, after revision. At the, the first revision zero doesn't read this page, but when it is revised, where contractor is putting their actions required or some justification, it has to be mentioned there. Request for welding procedure approval, welding procedure specification itself, the final format, welding and line designation table, then the procedure qualification. What is the procedure qualification record consists? The PQR itself, let's say revision zero, finally signed and reviewed format. The in non-destructive test report, RT, PT, MT as applicable. Then destructive test report, which is tensile, bend, hardness, impact, nick break, macro etching or macroscopic test, PMI for well metal, etc. MTC test certificate for the base metal or welding coupon material, material test certificate for welding consumables, material test certificate for the shielding gas or gases, if any, any technical justification or previous resolutions, any previous approval of the similar WPS or previous rejection comments as a reference. If CSD approves the WPS, he will sign at the bottom of the WPS where there is a technical approval. In this WPS, contractor is not authorized to sign in the technical approval portion of a WPS. CSD is only allowed to sign here. This WPS can be used for another projects of the same contractor provided all the parameters and the international standard or company standard cutoff dates are matching. Thank you. Hope you understand the whole WPS series. Please let me know which part is not clear with you. Then I can make separate video for that. Or if you want to need more or learn more, you can contact me one by one. I will try to help as much as I can. Thank you. If you like, please share and subscribe my video to inspire me more.